Hi everyone, Wendy from At Lane and High here today to show you how to DIY a board and batten wall. Uh, board and batten is a timeless classic uh, wall treatment that you can put on your walls and I created mine using MDF which is a little bit cheaper than using real wood especially with the prices of, of real wood right now. So um, stick around and learn how to DIY. You can do a wall you can do an entire room like I did here, or you can do a stairwell. Lots of different options. Um, so stick around. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more DIYs. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your MDF at the, the hardware store. And I had them cut it right there at the store. They come in four foot by eight foot sheets. And I had them cut down. I have a six inch board here at the top all around the room and then I have these all of these boards they're all four inches okay so you just need to decide do you want you don't even have to do these two rows here you could just do the top board with the them down as you can see I have my board and batten six feet high in the air a lot of people like to do it more wainscoting level it's up to you but have your wood cut at Home Depot it's so much easier um, have it cut in in four inch for the vertical, and if you're doing a second horizontal, and then six inch for the horizontal top. The first thing you're gonna do is take your vertical boards, cut them to the correct height that you want, and then put some construction adhesive on the back and nail them to the wall. If you have any that meet in the corners of the walls, you're gonna cut them on a 45 degree angle as I did here, do the same process with the construction adhesive and nail them to the wall. Then you're gonna add your top board all the way around the room and then your secondary horizontal board all the way around the room. Here you can see I've got both boards finished everywhere, all my verticals, everything is done and up. Then you're going to wood putty every nail hole and everywhere wood meets wood. Then you're gonna caulk everywhere that wood meets the wall as well as any corners of the room. This process takes a little time, so be patient. You're gonna to need to sand all that wood putty down so it's nice and flat. Then prime all your bare wood and give everything a coat of paint. Um, then add a second coat of paint. And if necessary, I had to add a third coat of paint uh, to get really good coverage and have it looking really nice and smooth. And that's what I have here. And here is the final view. Here is the board and batten with some paint that I put on the top third of the wall. It is the color Studio Blue Green by Sherwin-Williams. I currently have my dining room decorated for winter since we are in the middle of January right now. My next project will be to refinish and recover, reupholster these chairs, which I'm pretty excited about. But um, until then, I'm just loving this board and batten look. It's just such a pretty clean look. I can have the dark color on the wall above and it doesn't make the room dark at all. So I hope you give this a try. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to DIY a board and batten wall. It's something that's very doable for the average DIYer. Um, just takes a little bit of time and patience, but you can achieve a really beautiful space as well. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.